I'm in the house. <laughs> Where? You'll never find me. <laughs> I'm like the wind, baby. I'm like a ninja. You're behind the couch. Just when I thought that I was out of the Jenna Ortega trap and seeing her face literally everywhere, Scream 6 came out. Let's talk about it. What is up Cinemaniacs? Welcome back to another review. Today of course we're taking a look at Scream 6, which is a continuation of the core four from Scream 5, which includes the two sets of siblings here, which is of course Chad and Mindy, as well as Tara and Samantha Carpenter. Scream 6 takes place in New York, where we see the core four go against their next greatest threat, Ghostface. But this time, it's a more menacing Ghostface. He uses guns, he uses all these, he uses different tactics. He's a more, he's a different breed. And also, we're moving this horror requel into a franchise so there's new rules there's a new setting a bigger grandiose budget there's more there's bigger there's better and it's more dangerous and nobody is safe and that's really all i can tell you about scream 6 without ruining anything without having any spoilers in it just know if you like scream 5 this movie has that but up times 10 there's more gore there's more meta commentary there's more characters and there's a bigger setting there's just more here but is it any good so elements that i did like I liked the violence, I liked the setting as well, I really felt that everything here was really tense, it was much bigger, more grandiose, I felt like the ghost face was much scarier this time around, as well as being a threat that's much more present, and I would say this is one of the most tense and suspenseful films in the Scream franchise as a whole, because there are so many, I think there's like five or six chase scenes, and they all have me like gripping my seat, like biting my nails, not knowing what's gonna happen next, because like I already said, this is a franchise, everybody's on the chopping block, anybody can and will die. And it's great. Whenever it works in that sense, it's great. But this is a very mixed bag. And I've been thinking about my opinion and my thoughts in this while I've been at work all day, right? I'm like, man, did I like it? Did I not like it? And I gotta say, I think I liked the first two acts here are amazing, especially that first act because the setup here was chef's kiss. I felt like the first act was great. Second act was pretty good, was really, really strong. And I was looking forward to that third act reveal because I had no idea what was going on, I was still trying to figure out the clues for myself. I had ideas, but whenever that third act reveal came around, I just found myself rolling my eyes and just felt unsatisfied in the execution and the handling of characters here. I didn't think, I didn't really care for the motive and the reveal. And I feel like that's one of the strongest aspects to these Scream movies. I feel like you have to have that strong reveal and that strong motive to really carry it up. Because at the end of the day, this is a mystery slasher thriller. And if the mystery doesn't add up, if it's not, if it doesn't make sense, and if I can't look at all the steps in between from beginning to end after knowing the twist, right? If I can't, if I can't look at it and be like, oh, like, you know, like that mind blowing moment of, oh, that's what they were doing. That's what they, that was going on. This is where they were. That's who it was. Then I feel like it's not a very successful Scream film. And I will say that in this, I did not appreciate the twist. I did not appreciate the reveal, the monologue. And the motive just did not work for me personally. Now I'm not going to say this is a bad movie. It's a really well put together movie. But if you think too much about it, especially the plot and all the conveniences and contrivances that have to work to get this to go together and mesh to make a cohesive film, it's really goofy. And there are, and I know I've seen this pointed out a lot in other reviews and articles. These people are fucking invincible, all right? That's going to be the one F-bomb of this video. But it has seemed so hard to kill somebody in this franchise, right? Because this isn't a spoiler. But there's someone that gets stabbed like 50 times minimum, but yet he's still able to walk away. Like, I'm just saying I want whatever he's having. Like, Jesus Christ, that's amazing. I wish I had durability like that. Like, that's a comic book feat, okay? Within a semi-grounded, realistic New York setting, it feels kind of weird. It feels kind of crazy. It feels kind of out of place. But I really found myself invested in the characters and their stories on screen. I found myself dropping my draw at certain character deaths because I'm like, no, not not them. Why them? Why Like, why now? And I think that's a really good step. I think that's very important for a franchise to work properly. So am I going to overlook that? A little. Am I going to say it's a little goofy? Sure. But at the same time, it's not bad. I feel like if you're just into mystery thrillers, you're not going to be overly excited about this because for me especially, the twist just, just, just did not work and I didn't really appreciate it and I didn't appreciate the motive at the end, it really bothered me, okay? If you can't tell, the motive right here really bothered me. I think it's just too convenient. With that being said, it's not a bad movie. I'm gonna rate this movie big. 
Now, now, I can hear boos coming at me, right? Mid, 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 how's this mid? I just don't think this is the most well done sequel. I enjoyed Scream 5 more than I enjoyed Scream 6. If you have friends, go out and see it. If you're a Scream fan, obviously you've probably already seen it and you're here seeing what I think about it. But if you're not a Scream fan and you're just into like slasher thrillers or even like murder mysteries, I would say you could probably wait for this to come out on streaming. You're not missing a whole lot. I am excited to see what they can do with another sequel. And I'm still excited to see just where this can go because there, there are a lot of locations and a lot of great characters. But I'd still, I still can't recommend this to someone that's not invested in the story. I think the rest of the Scream franchises, even the bad ones or even like the less good ones, are required viewing for this film. So if you haven't seen those, wait for this to come out in streaming. Enjoy those first five movies. But those are all my raw emotions, feelings. That's how I feel about this movie, right? And with that, let's get into the numbers for nerds. I have cinematic rated an eight out of 10. Like I said, this movie is really, really good to look at. And like the movie itself points out, this movie is bigger, this movie is better. There's a bigger budget, there's better effects. It's it's just, it's that simple. It looks nice, it feels, gore, it feels really gross and gritty. I liked it, I, enjoy, I appreciated that. Character was an eight out of 10. I found myself really enjoying some of these characters. I found myself very invested in their story and I think that's an overall W. Conflict was a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed the gory fight scenes, I enjoyed the violence, and I personally enjoyed the kills of this movie. I felt like they were really done really, really well. Dialogue was a 6. I feel like they went overly meta in some areas, kind of over explaining clues a little bit. Like if you look back at previous previous entries into the Scream franchise, you could go back and like, um, for example in Scream 5, you could see bruises on people's arms and you're like, oh is that a clue? And no one pointed out the bruises on people's arms because they were the killer and they had been, been beaten up the previous night. No one pointed out the bruises. But if you're, you know, a, an aware audience member, you can be like, why do they have a bruise right there? However, in this film, if someone has a bruise, they're like, you're him, you're the, you're the guy, you're, you're the guy, you did it. And I feel like it's over explaining a, a mystery thriller. And that's kind of the point of a mystery thriller is for the audience members to be the detective and to figure it out as the characters do without really being spoon fed the answers. So because the dialogue worked against that fact, I ranked it a little bit lower. However, it's not bad dialogue, so I felt like to even it out, six out of 10. Plot was a five out of 10. There are so many plot contrivances and plot holes if you think about it too much. It doesn't really work, and I found myself rolling my eyes at the end at the reveal of the motive, and I didn't appreciate that. Suspense was an eight out of 10. This is probably one of the most suspenseful movies that I've seen all year. Like I said, there's five or six chase scenes here. Work really, really well where I'm just scratching the arms of my seat and biting my toenails, and that's really strong. It can keep me invested. Now, towards the third act, it lost me and I feel like the film as a whole pretty pretty strong pretty pretty good and so because of that I feel like an 8 out of 10 is pretty fairly rated that's gonna bring the total up to a 7 out of 10 this movie is rated mid like I already said should you go out and see it if you're a Scream fan yes if you're into if you're into horror slashers maybe not you know take some consideration go see it with friends it's more fun with friends anyways most horror movies are and uh yeah that's gonna be a review by me Zyler if you if you enjoyed uh, you know, do the YouTube thing, like, share, subscribe, all that cool, th all those cool things that everybody asks you to do anyways. I'll have more reviews up in this upcoming week. We're going to be taking a look at Spirited Away because a friend won't stop pestering me about it because he says I need to watch it for some reason. And then we're also going to be taking a look at, at the Adam Driver led movie 65 where dinosaurs might be scary again. And so, and so yeah, that's going to be everything for me. I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>